Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elna Shmukoc. I'm a PhD student in um, Science and Technology Studies at the University of Vienna in Austria. And in my research project, I'm looking at the proposed open access transition, um, in which I, I try to look it, at it into more detail and combine my background in library information science as well as social sciences. And I have only one slide for this lightning talk, but there's still a lot to say, I guess. But let me start with a proposition. And uh, two and a half years from now, we will have only open access, a full system in which all scholarly publications are published in open access only. Sounds great, right? But, um, well, at least that, that is the way how the Max Planck Society and the OA 2020 initiative that they have launched see the near future, which would be otherwise a very appealing scenario, but um, there are a few quite problematic underlying assumptions in the way they propose to implement this vision. Most notably, uh, one of them being that there is um, an agreement uh, globally in some sort of unison that um, there is one particular model that everyone can agree on and that this model is the commercial APC-based publishing. And, um, well, in this way, how they try to, to implement the, the idea that um, today's scholarly subscription journals can be flipped to open access, um, one can be even reminded of the innovation dilemma, which says that, at least in theory, if you want a radical, um, radical innovation and radical subversion, you would expect new entrants to come to the market, uh, but not the old incumbents um, to, to drive this radical innovation change. And the problem is this, that this APC-based uh, commercial publishing model is intended, to, um, is intended to break the market power of the very same publishers that they are trying to combat. So there are several paradoxes in that, but um, what I, the actual situation, as you might expect, is a bit different, which is I tried to visualize with this very simple and profane picture with the half full or half empty glass, depends on your perspective. So there are also, of course, the green, black, and all other fish and, and their species and colors. And you might be even able to recognize some muddy waters on this surface because not all gold that glitters seems to be gold, but also some hybrid colors of that. And there were, of course, some critical responses to the proposition of the Max Planck um, and some warnings um, that um, if we move from a pay to read to a pay to say system, it might um, have even more detrimental effects to the already vulnerable groups and researchers and institutions which will not be able to pay for the APCs. And yesterday, for instance, we heard very well that there's, um, there's no need uh, for an open access transition in, open, in Latin America, as Latin America has always been already in open access. So um, to wrap up, the picture is, of course, much more complex and because there are many actors and many interests involved. So that's why I think it's interesting to, to apply some theoretical concepts from social sciences, one of them being the knowledge regime, which we might think of um, experimentally, at least, um, that with the APC-based publishing model, the APC-based knowledge regime is being imposed. And if you're interested in, in some more concepts, you are very well, welcome to visit um, and to read my um, research proposal, all the, um, pub, all the papers, and then, I mean, I'm a PhD student, I don't have a long track record yet, but everything that, that, that is out there is linked in my ORCID profile, and I will be very happy to talk to you. Thank you.